please, please, please back up your data at home. So many people don't back up their data. And then one day their computer blows up, their hard drive stops working and they've lost all their data because they don't have backups. So today we're gonna to be talking about a little bit about backups and hopefully I'll give you some ideas and some tips on how you should be setting them up and working with them at home. So my name is Emilio and I work in the IT industry and I absolutely love it. And today we're talking about why backups are important. Data can be lost at home. Your computer stops working, your computer gets lost or stolen or damaged, something unexpected happens, data is accidentally deleted. So backups are integral because then you can actually go to a backup that you've done and get the data back. At the end of the day, it's the same as insurance. You've got house insurance, you've got car insurance, you've got insurance for other things, maybe medical health insurance. Why do you do that? Well, you have that in place in the event that you need it. You have car insurance in case you, you get into an accident, somebody damages your car. You have house insurance in case somebody burgles your house. Again, these are rare, they don't happen that often, but they do happen. And when they do happen, you are very glad you do have insurance. Your data is very, very important. It has your memories, it has your photos, your documents, everything that is precious to you. So have backups is like having insurance. Yes, you have to spend a little bit of money in getting the equipment, the hard drive, and get it all working, and it takes some time and effort to make sure that it's working correctly, but it is your precious data that you need to ensure is backed up, sent off site, in the event that something does go wrong. First things first is you need to work out where your data is going to be backed up to. So you've probably got yourself a computer, you've got all of your files, your movies, you know, your, your photos, documents, whatever you're working on at home, You've got it sitting on your computer. Well, all of that data needs to be copied. Essentially, the backup is a copy of all of that data. Figure out where it's going to go. Perhaps you need to go get yourself an external hard drive. That's generally the easiest way to get backups up and running. Go down to your local computer store and buy yourself a USB hard drive that is big enough to be able to then store all of your data that is on your computer. Now, generally what I recommend is buying yourself a hard drive that is maybe three or four times bigger than all of the data that you've got on your computer. So if you have a computer that has a 500 gigabyte hard drive, buy yourself an external hard drive that is at least two terabytes. Uh, the reason you do that is so that you can back up all of your data, but then as your data changes, which it will over several months and years, you can then back up that data again and again Another option is to back up to the cloud. That's another very good option to be looking at. The cloud has various options available to you to back up your data. The, the services that are most commonly used are things like Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive, where you can get yourself a free account with a limited amount of data. Uh, you then set that up on your computer at home to then back up all of your data or sync your data up to the cloud. Of course, you do have to pay extra if you do want to be able to back up additional files. There are other services provided by Microsoft and provided by companies like Amazon, which is AWS. They have storage solutions online for cloud. And there's also a whole bunch of other cloud um, backup solutions available out there, but they all do come with a cost. The more storage you want, the more it's going to cost you. But the great thing about having it up on the cloud is that it's outside of your home. If you have an external hard drive and you've backed up all of your data to that external hard drive, and then you grab that external hard drive and you put it in your closet, it's right next to your computer, or you've put it in a different room in your garage or wherever, it's still within your same house. So if your house gets burgled, if it burns down, if something terrible like that happens, then potentially you don't only lose your computer where all your data is sitting, but you also lose your USB external hard drives with all of your backed up data. So having it on the cloud ensures that that data is not inside your house, but it's somewhere protected outside of your house and it's on the cloud. Now that is a cloud option. Again, as I mentioned before, cloud is free for a limited amount of storage. Uh, that could be enough for you, then the cloud may be perfect. If you're willing to pay a little bit of extra money and then you've got more data up on the cloud. The other option is with your external hard drive, what you can do is you can have two external hard drives. You have one external hard drive 
where you've got all of your data being backed up to that one hard drive and that is sitting in your house. That is used in the event that your computer stops working, you accidentally delete files, whatever. You can then plug that external USB hard drive into your computer and get your data back. The second external hard drive is essentially a duplicate or a replica of this other hard drive. You plug one hard drive in, you back up your data, you then plug in the second hard drive, you then back up the same data again. That second hard drive then goes out of your house. It goes off site. You can give it to a family member, you can take it into work. You essentially need to get that hard drive outside of your house. So once you've got your hard drive or your cloud or whatever you've got set up, you need to have some appropriate software on your computer to be able to manage your backups. Um, if you're running Windows, you've got Windows Backup. All you literally do is you open up the software, you point all the data that you want to back up and you tell it where it needs to save it to. If it's a USB hard drive, you just say save it to here. It'll then do the whole thing for you. As part of this software, you set up schedules, you tell it when you want to back it up, how frequently, if it's daily, if it's weekly, if it's monthly, whatever it may be, and it does that whole thing for you. If you're on a Mac, you've got Mac's Time Machine software. Very, very similar. You have your external hard drive. If you open up Time Machine, it will ask you, where do you want the backups to go? You select your external hard drive, and then it all does it for you automatically. It'll do the scheduling, it'll back up. Anytime it finds a change, it'll go and do all of that for you. So you can set up jobs to back up all to one hard drive, and then you plug in your second hard drive, and then you run the job again, so then it backs up to the second hard drive. You take that second hard drive out of the office. Now, what I generally like to do is ensure that my backups are up to date. The last thing that you want is to have an external hard drive. You've got all of your data backed up and that is brilliant. That is your backup here in your house. That's the backup outside. They're up to date. But then weeks go by, months go by. You've just gone on a trip. You've up uploaded all of your photos. You worked on a very large document. It's all saved on your computer now and you're not remembering to do the backups. So make sure you get that external hard drive plug it back into your computer and run it back up again so you've always got an up-to-date copy. What a lot of people do is they'll always have a hard drive plugged into their computer. That way it's always there and it's always ready to take up the backups of all of your data. The one that is outside of your house, you can bring it back perhaps every month, quarter, every six months, whatever it may be. You bring it back into your house, you plug it back in, you back it up again, and then you send it back off site. Really the frequency of how often backups take place is up to you. The more often you do backups, the better. So as I said at the start of this video, please, please, please set up your backups. You've got no idea how important backups are until something goes wrong. I tell you, I've encountered so many people, including myself, where I didn't have adequate backups, I then lost data and I kicked myself because I didn't have backups in place. So get backups running now because in the future you may not know what happens. So there you have it, there is my overview. We really did touch just from a very high level, just on the surface. We can talk a lot more about it. And look, either way, I would love it if you commented below. Give me your, your thoughts, your recommendations, your ideas. If you did find this helpful, do let me know. If you did find it helpful, please give me a thumbs up. As well as that, subscribe to Digital Bike Computing, which is my channel, and click on the notification bell to be up to date as I release new videos. But that's it for now. I hope you found this helpful. We will see you next time.